are you waiting for? I'm waiting for um, T Rex to eat. This is. These parks are totally different. And each one is unique. And this Badlands is, you know, really different from the parks we have visited so far. with us leaving the Black Hills of South Dakota and on our way to the Badlands. If you missed our video of the Black Hills of South Dakota, I will link it up above here for you to check out. As we get on the highway and head, out, head down the road, we will make one stop before we get to the Badlands. Everyone's got to stop at Wall Drugs on their way through South Dakota. It's right off Interstate 90, and it's kind of quick and easy on and off. So we're going to swing in there and check out what we can see. <laughs> Our first stop before we hit the Badlands is at Wall Drugs in uh, Wall. Wall, South Dakota. So Wall Drugs started as a family-owned pharmacy that kind of exploded. Now they've got like the whole block on that side of the street and on this side of the street. It's similar to like if you've ever been on the East Coast and gone south of the border. It's something like that. It's a tourist trap right off of Interstate 90 that everybody stops at. Yeah, it's cute. It's good. Your picture. Must be Mr. Wall there. Uh, how you doing, honey? <laughs> okay, you girls smile now. Here we go. Cheese. Okay. Everything you need to be a cowboy here. You can get hats, boots, western wear. A bookstore here. And there's someone in the window up there. Ah. There's even an actual pharmacy in here. Here's the museum drug shop store. This is a traveler's chapel. The owners of Wall Drugs were very religious. Lots of pictures. These are all family, probably. actually began wall drugs the advertising of the free ice water would entice visitors from off the highway and the other roads to this location Here's Hello, Mr. Tree T-Rex <laughs> It kind of follows you. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for um, T Rex to eat. T Rex to eat? <laughs> yeah. He eats every 12 minutes. Every 12 minutes? Yeah. So 
We just missed it, so I'm just hanging out with him. He's pretty, he's pretty interesting. He looks around. Uh, I bet a dentist has fun with him. Yeah. Oh, it's cheap. Well, we finished our tour of Wall Drugs, and we've got donuts, a bumper sticker, and drinks to go. And a magnet. And a magnet, yep, we have to get a magnet. Yep. So what'd you think? I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah? A lot, a lot to look at. Yeah. Yeah, well, it was a lot of fun. We got to see the T-Rex and everything here. Yeah. Well, now we got to get back on the road and finish our drive for the day. Yep, not too much further. Yep. All right, let's get going. Okay. Well, Wall Drugs was a lot of fun, but it's now time to get back on the road. We've got to get to our destination for the day, which is the Badlands White River KOA. This KOA is so close to the Badlands National Park that you actually have to drive through the National Park to get to the KOA, which is kind of neat. So we were able to get a little bit of a preview of the National Park on our way into our campsite for the night. Badlands uh, White River KOA is located just five miles from Badlands National Park. It includes a swimming pool, camping cabins, and pretty much all the stuff you would expect at a KOA. Uh, one of the things that we enjoyed by staying there was the morning breakfast. They served pancakes every morning, which was kind of nice to have. stopped at Badlands National Park. Our first stop has been the Visitor Center. We went in, toured the Visitor Center, bought whatever we were going to buy, and now we're going to tour the park. This is the last National Park we will be visiting on this trip. Our first stop has been the Visitor Center. And this is where you can learn some history of the park that um, you are visiting. So we just finished our visit or our tour of the visitor center and bought what we wanted to buy. And now we're going to head into the park. So you're driving again? 
I am. I was nice enough to offer you the chance to ride and, uh, you know, video record. So that everybody out there on YouTube can watch us. Right. This is Fossil Exhibit Trail, and it's a nice place to get out, stretch your legs a little bit, and walk along the trail here, which is a nice little boardwalk. Um, pretty easy walk, so if you have you know issues uh, moving, it's a good trail to do. All fairly level, so we're gonna go do it right now. Look, beware of rattlesnakes. No pets. Ah, oh, we can't bring our snake-trained dogs. Just like everybody else. Alligators move to Florida to get warmer weather. This is very impressive, the Badlands. Like all the other national parks, it's hard to believe that where we live on the East Coast, there, I mean, we have some natural wonders, but this is, these parks are totally different. And each one is unique. This Badlands is, you know, really different from the parks we have visited so far. The col you know, the coloring of the uh, mountain rocks, they look like sand. Yeah. Really. Let's continue. Like Diane said, this is just so different from every part of the country we travel to and see things. It's so different. It's rather windy out there, so we haven't been talking a lot on the overviews, but we wanted to just kind of tell you, this is what's considered a panoramic overview, and it's got a, a nice um, boardwalk out that you can walk out on and see a nice panoramic view. It's kind of a point. Yes. Where to next, driver? I don't know. You have the map. Oh. This part of the park has gotten to be very much prairie. We're just on the edge of the canyons and such for the Badlands. Um, there's still more up ahead, but off to our, uh, oh, what direction it would be? Probably aren't to the north, it's pretty much prairie lands. It's our grasslands, I guess you'd say.
What are the colors over on this side? I think I got my that side too. The yellow and the orange? This overlook is where we are going to turn around. It's not the end of the loop. We're not really sure if it is a loop, but we've decided to turn around and head back the other way for a couple more sites that we want to see. We're heading into the Minuteman Visitor Center. This is uh, the Minutemen are missile silos that they used to have throughout the Midwest that would host host nuclear weapons that could be used as a deterrent to nuclear war. Well, we just walked through the Minuteman um, Missile Visitor Center, and it's a really interesting, it's like, actually like a little bit of a museum. It really talks about the nuclear arms race and how they came up with the Minuteman missile uh, silos around the Great Plains here to be a defense against the nuclear um, war with Russia. It, the idea was that you know we could retaliate and so that would deter anyone from starting a war. I thought it was 30 seconds. 30 minutes. Oh 30 minutes, okay. Well it's they could have missiles in the air in less than five minutes by the time they make the decision. Right. They could be hitting the ground in 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it was an interesting center. They have a movie, actually a couple, a longer movie and a couple shorter movies. Uh, one is about the Cuban Missile Crisis in 19, what year was it? 60? 63. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was very interesting. Yeah, and they have a movie really kind of going into the whole missile thing and everything. It was pretty good. Good to watch, too. Yeah. Well, let's get going. We've got uh, one more stop to make today. Okay, let's go. We're at Prairie Dog Ranch, and I've got some unsalted peanuts that I'm going to try and feed to the prairie dogs. Now, Diane, make sure you do not pet, touch, or hold prairie dogs. Watch where you walk. Do not bring pets into the prairie dog town and have fun. You know what I think? I think they're part of the uh, Actors Guild and they're on strike.
face it, these prairie dogs don't look like they've missed too many peanuts. What are you doing? Are you complicating life? What's going on? Oh, don't even want to look at us, huh? Just turn your back on us. Well, we have peanuts. Or so does everybody else. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a pile of peanuts in front of him. You think he wants another one? I think this was a bust. At least feeding them. Well, I got one right next to him. Yeah. What would you guys like? You're tired of peanuts? Is that what you're trying to tell us? Dog treats, maybe. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Zephyr Travels. Hit that bell for notifications, and until the next time, we will see you down the road. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.